Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. Let me show you the supplies. And this will be on the supply list or on my inspiration sheet on my website, okay? Thick Whisper White, eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have another piece of regular Whisper White that is um, two and three quarters by two and a half. It's just for the uh, skunk here, so it can be whatever. And then I have a half inch strip here for the greeting. We've got lovely lipstick. This is two and five eighths by five and a half. And another piece that's two and three quarters by two and a half. Same thing, it's for this heart right here. And then we've got All My Love Designer Series paper, and this measures two by five and a half. I'm gonna get the Simply Scored Scoring Tool, and we will score the card. Okay, so I'm gonna place it there and score it at four and a quarter. Okay, now let's stamp. We're gonna take the skunk with memento. And stamp him right in the middle and slide that over. Then we're going to take lovely lipstick. I might have to stick my head in the camera to get this lined up. Okay, much better. Close this up. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get the big shot out because we need to cut out this heart or the skunk. We're going to scallop the edges of the lovely lipstick and then we're going to cut out another one with this. Okay, so I'm going to move all this over and get the big shot. Okay, so here's the big shot. Magnetic platform and a cutting pad. I am going to start with the easiest at the moment and that is this heart. So you're going to use the same framelit for both the lovely lipstick and the um, skunk, okay? And hopefully I called him a skunk earlier. I have caught myself saying the wrong thing. So I'm just going to take off that because that's what we need. And then now place this on here. You may cut off a little bit of him. It's okay. Or you can cut off a few of the hearts. <laughs> There's that one. Okay, now. We're going to take this. And we're going to scallop the top and the bottom. Okay? And if this thing moves on you, just angle it, okay? So there's one side. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me try that again. Let's take the banner triple punch and we're going to flag the end of this and then we're going to trim it to make it a little bit shorter. That end's going to go under the, um, the heart, but I wanted to have it a little bit longer <laughs> so that I could flag the end. So don't trim that until you have it exactly how you want it, okay? So let's color the skunk. Guess I could put my sample back over here for you to see and for myself to see it. So I'm taking the light smoky slate. Uh-oh, the spell is barking.
And now we're going to take the dark, lovely lipstick. Now there are two different colors on this card, so you could alternate um, the colors of the heart to match the designer series paper. I'm okay with just using lovely lipstick, but you could use uh, one of our other colors. Okay, this is gonna get attached just like that. I'm gonna turn that over and put some snail. And just center it on here. If it goes over, like if you didn't cut it exact, you can trim it. Okay, now we're gonna add this to the card front. So just like that. I love using the Thick Whisper White. If you have not tried it yet, you should. It's really thick. Okay, there's that. Now, I found that it's easier to add the skunk first and then add the outline, okay? So what I'm gonna do is place some adhesive on the back of that. Then I'm gonna add <laughs> The greeting. Well, wait a second. I need to put some adhesive on there. So I'm going to add it. So that's going to go right about there. And I'm going to slide that under there just like that. Okay? See? And then this is going to go over the top like that. So you want to make sure you leave enough room so that the stinking isn't covered up. Okay? So I'm going to take my liquid glue, and if you have the silicone craft sheet, that would be ideal. I say this every time I film a video that who knows where it is. Actually, I know where it is. It's in my paper pumpkin box because I like to travel with that so I can assemble them. And um, it just gets stuck in there. Isn't that so cute? Okay, we're gonna take the same marker and we're gonna color our heart epoxy droplets. And I've already done that, so I'm just gonna do one to show you guys how to do it. Although I have shown this a couple times in my videos. So you just let that dry. So what I'm gonna do is take my paper piercer and pick up this small one here, place it there, the other small one down here, and then the larger one up here. And last but not least is we're gonna tie a little bow with the white baker's twine. And you don't have to add this step if you don't want to. It's just after I made the card, I was like, well, I'd really like some ribbon. So this is my ribbon. And I always say I should never try to tie ribbon and talk at the same time. Okay, now we're going to trim the ends. And I'm going to get a glue dot out to attach that. So I'm just going to get one glue dot with my paper piercer and then just kind of wad it up and place it exactly where I want to add my twine, which is right about there. And then I'm going to get that. See? Don't forget, there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website that has all the measurements along with a picture. So here's the original and here's the one we just made. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.